Florida is a great basketball team. And they outplayed us tonight and they deserve to win. Wish them luck going forward. And on to our other big story sweeping across Southwest Florida. A heavy hearted loss for Florida Gulf Coast men's basketball team as they got defeated by the University of Florida Gators last night. Head coach Andy Enfield, while disappointed, maintains that his team got beat by another great Florida school. He says that while his players gave it their all, it just wasn't enough. But everybody does agree that history was made when, for the first time, a number 15 seed made it into the Sweet 16. But everybody is still feeling the loss. They did a great job on uh, not making me use a ball screen. They made me, uh, they turn, made me turn it down. Uh, they hedged it really hard. Uh, I didn't make the right play out of it like I should have, and it, uh, it affected us. I want to thank our players for an unbelievable season, 26 wins. They made some history, and I can't tell you how proud I am of what they've accomplished. And Southwest Florida, so proud as well. This afternoon, the team came back home where there were dozens of fans waiting to greet them. Fox Force Dave Colbert was there to greet the team when they came home. You know, after the wild ride they've had over the last 10 days, you have to figure that they had to be somewhat disappointed with the loss. It was probably the last game many of the seniors will ever play. And now it begs the question, will it be the last game Andy Enfield here ever coaches? Tonight, we take a look at that issue, but start with last night and then the team's arrival back home. You know, they still made NCAA history, so, um, you know, I think they're going to get a, a big welcome home still. That was one fan's prediction after watching the disappointing loss last night, and he was right, as fans sat patiently and waited for well over an hour this afternoon outside Alico Arena for their team to come home, home to Dunk City. And as the bus pulled up saying hello, they started cheering. <laughs> As they got off the bus, they stopped and gave high fives. And the biggest cheers were for you know who. <laughs> Players say they weren't expecting to see so many fans after they lost. I'm surprised that they all showed up, but I'm glad it, it proves that, you know, they weren't just here just because we were in the tournament, but they were here because they really cared about us. Well, we didn't go into the NCAA tournament trying to be a national story. We went into the NCAA tournament trying to win some games. We thought we were good enough. And it was a very surreal feeling while it was happening. And once we started to get all the media attention, we, we just couldn't believe it. It was, it was amazing. Others were watching, too. And tonight, several media reports say the University of Southern California and Minnesota want Enfield to be their coach. <laughs> We asked him and his boss about this. Well, anytime you're successful in this business, uh, it's just natural. Uh, my personal life and my family's personal life have been su under such scrutiny the last week, week and a half, that we just want to take a break, take a, take a deep breath, realize what our team did for this university and this community, and we'll go from there in the next few days. You, as an athletic director, know how this drill works. What do you expect Coach Enfield's going to be doing? You know, we just you don't worry about um, too many things in front of us until they happen. and. Uh, you know, I was just talking to Craig about that. It just comes down to, you know, we really are so thrilled, and, and this moment that we have is one that's created memories for a lifetime for so many of us. And, um, you know, I think as we move forward, we just need to do the right things for what anybody needs to do individually or what we need to do collectively. And In case you're wondering, infield salary this year was reportedly about $152,000. The coaches who were fired at Southern Cal in Minnesota made $1.7 million and over $2 million a year. In fact, Minnesota paid its coach $2.5 to go away. Live, Dave Culpreth, Fox 4 in your corner.